Oh, golly, gosh. <sighs> 15 hour days are a bit much for a 50 year old, honestly. <laughs> God. Anyway, it's good the folks are back home now. We'll be able to go and steal some power. Everything is beautifully packed here in the, in the bee catching box. <laughs> Did you pack this, or is that my fault? <laughs> oh, God. Actually, we'll leave that there, because I put some more fuel in that. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> right, we'll go and plug that in, so before the excitement begins, we want to get our little catcher up and machine. <laughs> the wife's edited it. She's made it a bee buster. <laughs> oh, Lordy. I hope it's not too big a buster. Do you think I should put a suit on? I reckon I better. <laughs> Otherwise, it could be rather crazy if I cut this thing up and they'll all go everywhere when we cut it open, won't they? Oh, hell! <laughs> we'll just plug this in and make sure it works. I've got a couple of these cables that are no good anymore. That'd be great, wouldn't it? Oh, well, that's one problem solved, at least. Now, I don't think I've ever been chainsawing with a bee suit on before, but I guess it's the first time for everything. Was this your idea? <laughs> Probably was. <coughs> what the hell are we reckon we're gonna find in there? It's gonna be a mess, isn't it? Anyway, I'll go and put some fuel in there. I reckon I'll put my suit on and we'll go from there. Maybe light the smoker and give him a bit of smoke. Calm them down a bit. It's the only way to find out is to start, really, isn't it? <laughs> Pub's not far away, actually. We could just go there and have a beer or three and forget about it. No, where would be the adventure in that? <laughs> right, yo. Anyway, I figure we're going to peel the bark off first of all. <laughs> That's a serious stump. <laughs> Go on. Isn't it? Oh my god. <laughs> I mean, these guys have got a wood fire and left some firewood after this. <laughs> Sorry, chicks. <laughs> You've been all happy here, haven't you? You can see you've been here for a little while. <laughs> well, at least that's something the bark's pulled it off easy. So that's a good start. One thing we don't have to worry about. Oh, hope this isn't holding the fence up. <laughs> Right, yeah, moment, heck. Where's that smoky machine? <laughs> we'll just poke a little bit around here and see what, whether we, where we cut first. We don't really cut straight through the middle of their nest, do we? <laughs> where the hell are we? We're right down here, are we, chicks? I don't really know where the heck we're up to. I wonder if it's just a slit. <laughs> well, I don't think I'd be real happy either. I reckon we're going to try about there. I had a guess, but I don't know. Hmm. Sort of trying to gauge where they're up to. So they're definitely here. That nectar of the tree. Did you know it was my 33rd wedding anniversary today too? The lovely wife got herself all organised and booked us a nice restaurant. And I'm just hoping I make it there in time. But the weirdest thing is when you're old, you wake up with all sorts of weird eye things in your head. And being that it was our 33rd wedding anniversary, I remembered this joke I used to, I had, well, I hadn't told this joke in years and I remember this little joke about being 33. There's Jackie, little Jackie, he's got a little bit of a lisp and he's in, and he's in class and the school teacher says, I'd really like you to draw a picture representing a hundred. And so little Jackie goes, oh, okay. And the teacher's going around the classroom and eventually gets to little Jackie's table and, and he's drawn three trees. And the teacher goes to him, how the heck is that going to be a hundred? What is, what the heck? And he goes, well, that's tree, tree, tree. That's nine. And then the teacher goes, yeah, but that's a long way away from a hundred. And he goes, yeah, yeah, but just wait a minute. And then so he draws a little picture of a dog and the little dog's having a pee on the tree. And then he says to the teacher, he says, see, now that's dirty tree, dirty tree, dirty tree. And, and the teacher goes, yeah, 
but that's still only 99, you still haven't got it right. And he says, well, just hold on a second. And at the back of each of the little dogs, he drew little turds. And he said, and he said to the teacher, there you go, you see, that's dirty tree and a turd, dirty tree and a turd, dirty tree and a turd. That's an even hundred. That's pretty good, isn't it? I'm not really sure what the teacher's response was, but, and it's very weird that you wake up in the middle of the night thinking of jokes because you've been married for 33 years, but anyway, that was probably poorly delivered, but anyway, and we're here in a tree once more, so. Ah, what do they call that? They call that something when it all comes together. I can't remember what exactly that's called, but it's called something. And there's a blip in the matrix when the black cat goes twice. So I've had a dirty tree joke and a dirty tree full of bees. So anyway, here we go. We're going to have a bit of a cutting good time. I wonder how big they are. There's definitely honey in there, so they've been in there for a bit. I reckon we'll go across here and see what happens. If I start honey and stuff starts spewing everywhere and whatever, we'll stop. <laughs> but I'm hoping that's where they are. I puff it in this hole. Can you just watch and see if it comes out the other side? No. Yeah. So it's a pretty dense nest then. Because <laughs> it's definitely disappearing into there. bush bee man quake well hopefully i'm going to pull it over here so it doesn't land on the fence so that's i don't know would that be stupid <laughs> land on my foot instead of on the fence but at least i've got my steel cap boots on <laughs> Help. are we ready <laughs> oh shut <laughs> oh we're still above the beehive at least <laughs> oh heck you want any firewood good god <laughs> Oh shit, well, no one's coming out the top, so maybe we're a bit high. Shivers. So I'm not 100% sure where we're up to, but they're obviously at least up to that bit. So we're fractionally above, so. No, no, maybe we'll cut a line through here and a chunk out of there, and then we'll see whether we can find where the top of the nest is. And then we might just cut a whole side out if we can figure out where we are. Anyway, I'm, I'm just glad I'm not here with an ax. That would have been blooming hell of a good time, wouldn't it? Imagine that. I think I just felt the blade drop into the hole, so we should be good. upset them. <laughs> They've come running out the top of the blooming stump now. <laughs> we're still not there. We got, oh, we're at the top of it. We got a bit of honey there. It is honey there then. It's just like a little tube down the middle. What are you chicks doing in there? I think we might be just a fraction high. I'll get a stick and just lift that bit of honey off the top. We're not bad. It's just right at the top, that was. This is going to get very interesting in about 10 seconds. <laughs> I reckon we've got the seam there. If we run the saw down here and across there, we'll have a whole section where we open up. But, sorry, Gales. Golly gosh. <laughs> I don't know. That should work, I reckon. This is my first tree of actuation, so I don't know. We're making this shit up. I think 
we've created a buzz. <laughs> Golly gosh. Well, hopefully, now I've got that cut off there, I'm hoping I'm just gonna prise the stump away without pulling the whole nest apart. So that's my plan in any case, we'll see what happens. And then we'll suck the bees off into the vacuum cleaner and then we'll pick up what's left. You gotta love their efficiency. They're still bringing pollen back to this nest that's being attacked. You know, I guess if you're out in the field and you had your little pollen sacks full and you're flying home and you saw a couple of crazy white polar bears with a chainsaw attacking your home, you'd still have to land, wouldn't you? You can't really just go down to Macca's and have a coffee and wait for this shit to be over. Rightio, let's see what we've got. What sort of trouble we're about to create. <laughs> Actually, it's more solid than I thought. Okay, it's still hooked just there. <laughs> Okay, I'm sorry everybody. I wonder which way we go about this. Of course, it just keeps on going down, doesn't it? Typical. That's all right. We will start getting a few of these girls off of here. Have a bit of a practice run with our sucker machine. <laughs> we might have to just keep on, keep on, digging on. <laughs> If you're ever making a bee busting vacuum cleaner, don't suck up the honey, because last time we did that, we had all sorts of excitement. So you want to just get that out of the way. So this doesn't suck anywhere near as hard, so it might be all right, but we'll check our pot in a minute. It's sucking them up though. We better have some critical review. Wait on. <laughs> bee busting. <laughs> what a ridiculous idea. So we think we're having a bit of an arduous adventure down the hose, so we've, our first little try with our first 10 didn't do them a lot of good, so we're going to get a shorter hose and give that a crack, because we reckon it's a fair old wallop down this journey. Well, maybe it's better. <laughs> They're still a little bit messed up, but they would be, wouldn't they? <laughs> okay, our little vacuum cleaner, even though it's not as excitable as our big vacuum cleaner, is too crazy. So I reckon I'm going to put a little nick in the suction hose, which and then I can adjust the sucking by just <laughs> twisting the hose. But later on, we'll put a, some sort of sucky tap here. We'll never fix this hose again. But anyway, <laughs> oh well, what the hell? We'll take it back to Bunnings and tell them there was a hole in their hose. Before we get too much more excitement though, I reckon I want to cut this little bit off here as well, so I can get at it a bit easier. Considering what we're doing to them, they're not even banging me on the hat yet. So they're actually pretty relaxed. <laughs> this makes a hive inspection a bit easier, doesn't it? Like, you think, you went, I wonder they wanted to put them on frames. I wonder if this was what it was like when they had them in the, I guess it would be, the wooden logs, and they used to have the plug at the end and they could just get the honey out. How the heck they saw everything, whatever else was going on, I don't know, but still. Sorry, chicks, now we're gonna get upset. Ah, oh, come on. Shit. I think they've been here for a couple of days. Oh shit. <laughs> Damn it. Did we bring a bucket to put the honey in? <laughs> nope, we didn't, did we? I think what I might do, since I found out that the vacuum cleaner blows backwards, I might blow some of this sawdust away. <laughs> I don't know whether you're actually meant to put it in the output, are you? <laughs> This is gonna get very interesting, isn't it? Anyway, we'll suck up a few girls and see whether we don't 
make quite such a mess this time. I reckon if we do that, so it's all to do with all to do with how much pressure you've got. I reckon. Here we go. <laughs> That's a much improved without so much pressure. Get a little bit of this honey out of the way. We don't really want that everywhere. Otherwise a blooming big sticky mess. Oh crap, look how far down it goes. That's not a good sign. Oh, where's that fucking paint scraper? Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> what a worry. <laughs> much for an instant swarm. <laughs> oh, I think we'll put it on the frame, you think? I don't know. It's got all brewed one side and honey the other, which is not good. I think we'll have to get rid of the honey though. I don't know, I'm just sort of thinking we're not, well that bit of honey might be all right. We don't want too much, that's all. <laughs> hmm. Well they're definitely very bloody chilled out. I reckon I wouldn't be this relaxed if someone just tore my house to bits. <laughs> well, I guess we're a much better option than the pest control dude, aren't we, with his can of Peebo or whatever that white powder is they spray on them. At least they're going to be... And they're nice and cool, so it'll be good. They're nice, them and bees. So hopefully, if we can catch their majesty, it'll be a good thing. Well, at least it's, yeah, it's got, we've at least got the bottom of the blooming thing. Getting to the bottom of it. That sounds a bit like a detective. <sighs> Bee detective. With us the honey ridge, and they've got all the comb, they're blooming neck, they've got nest all the way right down there, so they've got a massive amount of brood in here. Goodness me, laddie, you were seriously getting excited, weren't you? But I try to take as much brood as you can because if you lose your queen, at least you're gonna have a genetics here and some eggs. But hopefully we can find the queen because it's a fairly contained little nest. So if we're lucky, she'll be here somewhere and we'll get her and pop her in this box and then I'll all be a new little happy beesh bee man nest. And these lovely people can have their front yard back again. It's a win-win situation. <laughs> now they're starting to get excited. Where's my smoker gone? Sorry, everybody. You're wondering what the hell's going on. You don't know it, but you're in good hands. Maybe you do know it. You haven't even bit me yet, or stung me, or anything. You're all very pleasant young ladies. All off to the ball. <laughs> yeah. We might do a little bit more sucking. We want about half suck power. <laughs> oh, seems to be the go. Anyway, I reckon we'll put a tap on there eventually. for this one. And I reckon we want that little bit down the bottom. I reckon I'd sting me too. You've done very, you've been all very nice actually up to this point. Let's see if I can get one more piece to go in there. This piece here can go in there. So this is going a bit better than we expected, I think. Yeah, I'm just thinking we might just tip some of the bees in here and see what happens. I mean, ultimately they're gonna come back there, aren't they? So, <laughs> yeah, I just tip some bees in the box to keep the brood warm. So hopefully in amongst this lot, there's some nurse bees. I might just suck this little few off the outside and we'll chuck some in there.
Whoop, that looks much more excitable, doesn't it? <laughs> Hopefully that'll keep everybody a bit more toasty warm. I'm just wondering what that white shit is right down here. Isn't nature fascinating, you know? The white ants went to work and had a little nice little home and dug this all out. Then the bees turned up and said, cool, look at that. <laughs> You've finished with it, we'll move in here. Ah, tell you what, we could learn a lot from nature, couldn't we, us humans? You know, maybe just perhaps work with the planet, that would be good. Anyway, back to sucking. Look at that bit stuck in there like a little wine cork. It's kind of cool, isn't it? Right. <laughs> nice bit of pollen there for them to live on. All right, that's just their bee bread or pollen and a bit of their saliva and honey mixed together so they can make these little pollen satchels. How cool is that? And if I could be really bothered and put that in a little jar, that's really good for you, but it's not going to happen today. What if we put that other narrowed end on and then we could reduce the suck even further? That's if it fits in this silly bloody fitting now. <laughs> ah. <laughs> it sucks better. We'll see what happens when we get over to the box. <laughs> Definitely have less pressure like that. That was much better, I think. We might be onto something there, I reckon. Ah, God, it's been an arduous event making this thing work, isn't it? <laughs> God, gosh. <sighs> Fuck. Let's see if I can just get rid of some of this honey, I reckon. Because the last few are hiding back here. Yeah, no, I'm just thinking about what the hell to do with that. It's really not bad, except for that one big seam there. And then I don't know whether I... I reckon now that sucker's working a lot better, we might try and suck a few more out of there before we cut that, because we'll have honey everywhere. And the last thing you want to do is drown them in their own nectars. Oh. <laughs> A couple of crevices here. <laughs> well, we're definitely reducing the numbers. <laughs> oh, 10 bucks says she's run back into one of those crevices, though. I wonder if we bloom and clean the rest of this crap up and we just set the box on the stump. Oh, I might just put, the, put some rubber bands on this one. That's going to be the last little bit, I reckon. Oh, you're starting to make it nice and warm in there already. Oh, I think it's amazing. <laughs> we've got a little, we've got a little bit of excitement, but we haven't done too bad, <laughs> considering. I think it's much better with the nozzle. But the nozzle idea works heaps better. So that can, you can reduce your suck even more. Oh man, Aladdin's cave? <laughs> I don't know. Let's try and get rid of this honey up the top here. Of course, you, we've discovered that you don't want to suck that crap up. <laughs> we figured that out the last time we were doing this, <laughs> didn't we? <laughs> Ow, that's a bee sting. God, thank gosh. So. <laughs> There's this really big seam here where they're hiding, so that's not real good. <sighs> well, we're just thinking we might just cut the rest of the stump off and see if we can get, there's a few bees in a crevice back here. So we'll see if we can level it all off. It'll look better leveled off anyway. <laughs> so then, I don't know. around the 
back here. <laughs> Ten bucks says the queen's in this lot. I'm just thinking if we cut back down here somewhere, I don't really want to cut exactly where the seam is, that's the only trouble. Because that might not be a good thing for them. <laughs> now, hang on, where's my cleaner upper machine? what we're going to do, I'm going to cut that off and I'm going to ask this, I'm going to cut the rest of that stump off and I'm going to ask these folks if I can leave my bee box here for a little bit until they figure it out. I don't reckon there's too many in that one. Oh, oh, well, <coughs> I think I'm officially getting tired. So. We've still got some girls down the bottom here. And I've just asked the lovely young family whether I can leave my box here. So I reckon we're gonna sit the box on the stump and hopefully the rest of them will run up there. Either that or they'll all run down there and then it'll be a worse mess when I get back here. <laughs> I reckon I'm just gonna sit the box with the opening across here. Hopefully everybody will run up into the new home, but who the hell knows? <laughs> I don't know, we've definitely disturbed them. But they're very chilled out. I mean, I've only got about three stings on my hand, so. Heck, I hope we can keep them going because they're pretty awesome. So I reckon we'll just try and pack up our mess and we'll get on our bike and get home before either of us get divorced. <laughs> I'm just scooping out a bit of this sand and dust that we've picked up. And it's amazing just how warm it is. I've just opened the lid and the ladies are all in here warming this box up to keep their brood and their happy little family. That's incredible. We need feeling a YouTube so you can actually feel what it is. But anyway, that's pretty amazing how hot that is. Oh dear, I don't know this, whether this is a dumb plan or not, but anyway, that's the plan we're running with at the minute. <laughs> Hopefully they run up into the box and not out of the box. Otherwise, that'll be a damn nuisance. Anyway, well they are very, very nicely chilled out little girls. Well, I don't think our fishy vacuum was, at first it wasn't real good, but I think overall, I think it's been very successful. I guess the proof is in the pudding whether or not we are actually have a healthy surviving hive of bees at the end of the show but it's a step in the right direction away from the ice cream container that we started with so I reckon we're on the right track just a little bit of a tweak and we'll have this down pad packed. <laughs>